Hello everyone and welcome to my new video of how to make your own discord bot in python. So let's get started. So guys in today's video we will be starting with economy commands in python and we will be creating a work command which will be based on our wpm which is words per minute which is actually even efficient than dank memo. So let's right get into it. <laughs> So guys, it's been a while since I uploaded one video because I was busy with exams and also I lost all of my files of uh, YouTube bots. So basically, if you want the sources of those files, then check out my previous videos on this playlist. So we'll be using PostgreSQL, which is really efficient database. So I'm going to pretend as if you already know about PostgreSQL. And if you don't, then go check out my video of how to use postgresql with discord.py firstly you will require postgresql just download it and then open it and then open pg admin as soon as pg admin opens you enter your password go to your databases so by default you'll have only one database you just need to right click and create another database and just name it something i'll name it economy save it now just move to your code you need to firstly pip install async pg so you'll just say pip install async pg I've already installed it, just import it in your code, just create a function, create db pool, enter your database name which is economy in our case, user will be postgres, postgres and just enter your password. Once you enter the password then just write cell.loop run and it will complete create db pool. This is pretty much clear, we, I have explained all the code in that video of mine for postgresql. Then you can just move to your events.py function. In your on ready, what you need to do is you just need to create the table if not exists. So what I've what I've done is I've just said create table if not exists user. It will have certain parameters which will be user ID, which will be a big int. We'll have money, which will also be a big int. Then we'll have an inventory. Inventory will be basically based on the stuff we collect. It will be a text and we'll have BGs. BGs will be the backgrounds of our profile. So we'll stay save them in the users data. Now this will execute only once but still we'll be executing it in on ready function so i've just said create table if not exist so it will create the table for us now in our economy dot as you can see this is just the basic setup of economy command now what we need to do is create some async functions for adding for getting the data and even for checking so i have covered these functions in basically my previous video so i'm just gonna copy paste so here are the commands you can check out the video for the detailed explanation i've just uh, created three commands one is add second is get and third is check so this check command will be called at the start of every command and this basically checks if the entry of the user exists and if it doesn't exist then it will just insert the id of the user then it will insert the amount which is by default 2000 and then we'll insert the bgs and the by default we'll have only default bg we'll use this get command for getting the money info for getting the backgrounds info and several other stuff and this add command can be used to subtract or add money now we need to create one commands that command function it will have several aliases and you can add other as well and i'll just name it async def working will have self and ctx parameter that's all first of all we need to check the user so i'll say self dot check my ctx dot author dot id now this will check the user and add the entry if it doesn't exist now what we need to do is i've just created this file if you see typing dot txt so basically this file has certain amount of text lines you can just i just randomly generated them you can even use a module to generate lines but i didn't found that that much efficient and make sure that there is no special character in your line so i have provided this file in the description you can check that out and you can add lines on your own as well i've just randomly generated them and make sure there is no special character like there shouldn't be anything like you know colon or something like a semicolon or just there shouldn't be anything like this you can just search for stuff like semicolon and just replace them so that's how it should be done and we can just replace the extra spaces by single space now what we need to do is we just need to get the data of this file so what we'll say is we'll say with open typing text.txt in read mode as file and we'll do list comprehension so we'll say sentences is equal to or for i in my file dot read lines i'll just return i 
dot replace and I'll replace the backslash n with a space or i so if this backslash n doesn't exist then we'll just return i so this is uh, this will just contain all the sentences from this typing dot text typing text dot txt sorry in this we'll just make sure to you know provide a description of the command so it will be earn money through type racing we'll get the sentence so sentence will be a random okay random dot choice make sure to import random and i'll say sentences and we'll get the length of the sentence as well so length of the sentence will be used to measure the wpm and length will be length of my sentence dot split so basically i'll split by the space okay so dot split and then i'll just format the sentence so basically we need to import re as well so basically this will turn the sentence into you know a uh, lowercase and all the characters in the formatting so we'll define a variable emoji so this emoji will contain the emojified text of the sentence we want the user to write so this will be something like we give a sentence and we'll turn it into a emojified version and the user will have to type it so i'll say for i in formatted i is equal to a space then we'll add several spaces in emojified basically three spaces would be all right else we'll just say emoji plus equals to regional indicator i so let's say the letter is i or let's say the letter is a then it will just get the emojified version of a and a space if you notice now we have the text now what we need to do is we'll say await we'll basically define a variable send which will be await ctx dot send you know, a formatted version of and uh, in between now why i am putting this so that the emojis are not you know very enlarged we just want the smaller version so i'll just pass my emoji here now we'll wait for the message so what we'll say is we'll say message is equal to await cell dot bot dot wait for and we'll just pass message so timeout will be 60 seconds i guess that's pretty much fine now in the accept async io dot timeout error we'll just create one embed to be sent and this will be our embed you fail to answer and we'll say await ctx dot send embed is equal to embed then and we'll say await cell dot add it will be ctx dot author dot id and amount will be 200 so we'll just pass only 200 if the uh, answer is correct or is not answered yes that's all and in the else statement we'll check if the message sent by the user is correct or not so we'll say if my message dot content dot lower is equal to my sentence dot lower if it is similar then it's well and good we'll just say pass for now and in the else we'll just copy this we'll send the same embed and we'll just pass this means the answer sent by the user is not correct means that uh, there is some typo or something now if the sentence written by the user is correct then what we need to say is we'll just say time is equal to string datetime dot datetime dot utc now minus n dot created at so basically we are just getting the difference between the time when the embed was sent and the present time so we are just getting the version and we are getting the string and we are just removing the first five and last five index and then we are just formatting the time and we're getting the time now this time will be a string for now we'll be converting it into a float later on now we'll just define another embed which will be basically this and it will be description ctx completed the type race in time dot format settings time dot format is just basically that and we're just giving random color to it now we'll define a variable wpm which will or length divided by basically float of you know our time format in minutes so basically this time format is in seconds we need to convert this into minute and basically we'll put all of this in brackets so we have the if you know what is WPM, then it's the length, basically the number of words divided by the time in minutes. And we'll just put all of it into float, you know, or integer, rather. We have the WPM. Now we need to get the money as well. So money will be the algorithm is really simple. The algorithm is that we'll just get the percentage of WPM. Let's say I wrote at 50 WPM. So 50 WPM will be converted into percentage, which is 50%. And I'll just multiply it with 2000. So I'll just say my, you know, 
50 uh, my wpm divided by 100 which is the percentage into 2000 so if you write with 200 wpm which is quite insane then you'll get basically 4000 money which is quite nice right now we'll just say embed dot art field name will be money earned and value will be money similarly we would have wpm which will be equal to wpm now the user have earned the money we'll just say await ctx dot send and we'll just say await sell dot add ctx dot other dot id and amount will be money one important thing we need to add a timeout else people will keep on earning money and get on the top so we'll just say commands dot cool down it will rate will be one time will be i guess 3600 3600 is basically an hour this is just in seconds and type will be equal to commands dot bucket type dot user so this will be your type and i guess that is pretty much fine this function is done now we'll just create one credits function so i'll say commands dot command we'll have several aliases aliases would be yeah and i'll remove balance basically this will be the name of the function so i'll say async def balance it will be cell ctx and we'll have a member so member will be a discord dot member and it will be none by default so if not member means the member is none then we'll say member is equal to ctx dot author so we can mention other user to get their credits or uh, if we want to get all credits only then we need not to mention any user now we'll get we'll firstly check so we'll say await cell dot check then we'll get the data so we'll say user is equal to await cell dot get member dot id so we're getting the data of the user and money will be user first index so if you see the event dot by first will be the user id second will be the money and third will be inventory and fourth will be the bg so if we see the indexing then money is at the first index and second position so I guess this pretty much makes sense and we'll just again create an embed which will be discard.embed total balance member.name has total okay total total net worth of money money is again the variable and the money bag emote and random color again and then we'll just say embed.set thumbnail ctx.author.avatar url so uh, we have not moved to discard.py 2.0 version I guess we'll be doing it soon in the future but I don't really see a point to continue with discord.py so we'll be ending discord.py series uh, after a few videos yeah it's sad but that's the truth and we'll just send it into the ctx now let's try running it okay so now i'll check my balance okay so the it was balanced and it says i have a total net worth of 2000 okay so there's one thing which we missed basically we have to you know add a check in here so we'll say check and check will be lambda message we will check if the author is equal to my message like my message dot author is my ctx dot author so that's a lambda check which we need to pass now let's try running the bot again and i'll say work and as you can see it says wpm 34 which is actually very low i know and uh, it says 20 seconds and money on 680 now let me you know get my balance so i'll say val and as you can see i have a total net worth of 3080 now let me work again i'll probably get an error because there's a timeout so we because i haven't added the error handling in here yet but if you have done the error handling then it will show a timeout error in yours so i guess this is pretty much working awesome and in the future videos we will be creating image manipulated leaderboard and you know merging this with our profile system and it's gonna be awesome so that's all for this video guys i hope you all enjoyed it like the video if you liked it dislike if you didn't subscribe and share for more and i'll see you guys in the next one